Hey guys, it's Pope. Welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a vlog, I don't think, since I competed in the Arnold Classic. Lots been going on since then, which I'll try to catch you guys up on in the next few vlogs. But today I am going to be testing out some new workouts for our May training cycle for dynamic fitness. Today is going to be the leg day. Pumped for that. Uh, since I competed in the Arnold, I've been really focusing on reverse dieting, building my calories back up really high, getting healthy again, getting to where I'm feeling good again and strong again. So I've been just really pushing myself in the gym lately. So stoked. Last week I hit a back squat set of 10 for 250 pounds. So, so exciting because that was a new all-time PR workout for me. I went 225, 240, 250 in a row for sets of 10. So that was all-time PR volume workout set of 10s. And that just felt incredible to be back to my all-time strength. Coming up on three years postpartum, I had knee surgery eight months ago. So like just so much hard work finally showed like the payoff a bit in that leg strength. So I'm just really excited about the direction everything is heading in my training right now. And yeah, like I said, we're testing out the new workouts that launch next week. I did the shoulder day yesterday, which I really loved that workout. We're going to be focusing on a lot of tempo work on this cycle. Last month, we were going pretty hard in the paint as far as pushing like really hard lifting. And so this month, I wanna take it back a little bit and focus on tempo, focus on technique, and focus on time under tension. So I'm excited about today's leg day. I did wanna let you guys know the Pounce Hula Girl is back in stock. This has been everyone's favorite flavor of my pre-workout. It is the sour cherry and pineapple that tastes like a tropical drink you would get like at a tiki bar on an island. <laughs> it is so good. So I'm having this one today. One scoop is 175 milligram milligrams of caffeine which I think is like the perfect sweet spot. And we have beta alanine in here, but not too much. So you don't get that like red itchy face feeling. I hate that feeling. We have it really dialed in. And I'm having a scoop of our creatine. I take creatine every day. I don't cycle it. Don't do a loading phase. Don't do any of that. Just take a consistent amount every day, even on rest days. So this is my pre-workout stack for today. Hula Girl is so good. Okay, let's hit the gym, get warmed up. We're gonna start with front squats. The way that I do my programming is we do new workouts every month. And instead of doing like a dedicated deload week, we use the first week as like an acclimation week. And that week you're getting used to the new workouts and that's where we start at our lowest weights. And then each week after that throughout the month, you're trying to increase your weights. So this being week one for me, for these May workouts, I'm gonna be taking it pretty easy today. We'll see if my knee wants to do this today. I only felt like a 60 year old woman that set. We're going with three reps with tempo, a three second descent, and then three regular reps. I like the idea of this for this month because that way we're gonna be able to get the tempo reps pretty heavy with only having to do three of them and then crank out three more after that to get a little more reps in there. So it's a little combination of both. I'm probably gonna stick to this 145 today like I said, I did huge squats last week and I am still feeling it. <laughs>
Each set, I feel 10 years younger. That's my knees loosening up. Yeah, I was a 70-year-old woman the first time I said I was like I was trying to crouch down. Okay, I got my full mobility by my last set. That's why you do back off weeks though, instead of regular full rest. Get in here, go through the motions. It's gonna speed up that recovery and get you back to heavy lifts faster. I think I'm gonna try to go for maybe 200 at the end of the month. That'll be my goal on this rep scheme. Mixing up my intro workout now. Ours is called Unbroken. A full serving is 20 carbs, which is what I'm gonna go for but I love that a scoop is half a serving. So if you only want 10 carbs, it's really easy to measure it out. Also has electrolytes and ashwagandha in it. This is a killer supplement. And I can afford it right now with how high my carbs are. All right, on to leg press now. We're doing the decline leg press this time. We've done seated leg press a couple months now, so I haven't done this one in a while. But we're gonna do the same thing here, focus on time under tension with a three second descent. I'm gonna do eight reps like that tempo and then we're gonna do some mini reps at the end to get a good BMO pump. I'm letting my heels pop up a little bit because I have really terrible ankle range of motion and I really want to get that knee flexion as much as I can working around those things I got to deal with. That was too light. I was really excited to wear this new bodysuit, but now I gotta pee, so I gotta go get totally naked to do that, I guess. Now on leg extension, I'm gonna do tempo reps like we're doing the whole workout, and then a drop set of regular speed reps. Next up and the last thing we're gonna do for legs is a triple set or basically a circuit. And we're gonna be doing a goblet squat with heels up, step ups and Spanish squat. And Spanish squat has become one of my favorite exercises since my knee surgery. Nothing I had done previously before bodybuilding, but I don't really know why. Really good BMO exercise, which is one of the things that got super weak after my surgery. So I'm excited to bring those back onto the program.
All right, so the key on the Spanish squat is to press your knees back against the band at the top. That's how you're gonna get this VMO, which helps keep your kneecap on track when you're doing squats and stuff. Really important muscle to really fire on the end of this rep. If you do those right, ooh, they burn. Finished up the leg portion of the workout today. Still have triceps remaining, but Scarlett's in the kids club and we are out of time. So I'm gonna finish up triceps at home. I think this is gonna be a great workout. I'm looking forward to seeing our members try this one out when it releases. New workouts for Dynamic Fitness are coming out on Sunday, May 7th. So probably when you're watching this video, would love to have you join our program. New workouts come out every month. I try to keep it super interesting, changing up as much as possible while still keeping the foundation and fundamentals there. So you're gonna make some really good progress. So it's a good balance of structure, a little bit of boring, doing a lot of the same things over and over with a mixture of constantly changing it up. So you wanna keep showing up to the gym. And you have this group, Facebook group, to talk about the workouts and kind of motivate each other. Great community program we got going on. If you wanna check it out, go on my website, dynamicpursuit.net. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next vlog.